Today on WSRH Extra, we are taking a closer look at this year's salutatorian and the difficulties that came along with the title. Also, how Seminole Ridge's TV Production Academy is undergoing new changes for the upcoming school year. Plus, how the Construction Academy is continuing their efforts to build for Habitat for Humanity. WSRH Extra starts now! Welcome to this episode of WSRH Extra. I'm Kaya Narkis. And I'm Ilani Firetag. Today is the last show of the year and our seniors are signing off. Out of the 535 students in the senior class, one has risen above the rest to become this year's salutatorian. WSRH Extra reporter Brooke McGrath has the story. As the school year draws to a close, the senior class rankings have been released. With an HPA of 5.35, graduating senior Julian Newcomb is this year's salutatorian. She set goals for herself early when she left Western Pines. I said, so what's your goal for high school? She said, my goal is to be valedictorian. And she almost made it. So it was just finding a balance and staying organized, writing everything down, the due dates of the assignments, when the big tests are. Just staying organized was the biggest factor. Becoming salutatorian was not an easy route for Julia. In fact, her rise to the top included a battle that no amount of studying could prepare her for. It started out when she was about eight and a half years old when she, we knew something was wrong, but we didn't know what. And at first they thought it was cancer, but it was an autoimmune disease, which was attacking all of my other organs. I was in the hospital for a majority of third and fourth grade. So I missed a lot of content and I missed out on a lot of opportunities. However, Julia's mother says that Julia refused to let these challenges prevent her from pursuing a normal life. Julia is the one who, when the doctor said, you may have to have, you know, use oxygen the rest of your life, and she said, no, I won't. After overcoming her illness, Julia has continued to not only leave a mark on her school, but on her peers as well. In her case, her illness has affected her life in so many different ways that no one can ever imagine. And to hear her story and to know that she's like, at the place that she's at today has definitely taught me that you can honestly overcome anything. I anticipate that I will see her reach her goals. Whatever she decides to do in her life, that's what we'll probably see from Julia. We've seen nothing less. Julia will continue to inspire her friends and her peers throughout the next four years as she attends the University of Central Florida to study environmental engineering. For WSRH Extra, I'm Brooke McGrath. After 18 years as a TV production teacher at Seminole Ridge, Mr. Wright is bringing a new member to the team. WSRH Extra reporter Yusuf Fontecchio takes us to the studio for more on the story. Seminole Ridge's TV Academy has had a successful year, winning awards ranging from first place tape daily show in the nation to award winning short films and even vlogs. Now, Principal Bob Hatcher and teacher Earl Wright plan to expand the TV Academy. Um, so we're expanding our program, which is really exciting. Um, Hatcher's really bought into what our program is. The Seminole Ridge TV program opened in 2005 and has only grown since then. Now they're adding TV teacher Alexandra Jenkins. Mr. Wright's program was growing so big, he was getting um, really large class sizes, and also they were turning down a whole bunch of students. So when he approached me about the idea, I thought it over and said, yeah. Miss Jenkins is the current TV production teacher at Osceola Creek Middle School after being recruited from WPEC News 12 to teach there. One thing she looks forward to when going from middle to high school is the opportunities coming with her. It would be a great way to transition from high school or from middle school into high school and to be able to use what I have learned and hopefully be able to help expand the program that's already doing so well. Earl Wright believes that Miss Jenkins coming to Seminole Ridge is taking place at the perfect time. And he would know since he's known her since she was a TV student in his class at Dwyer High. Having Miss Jenkins at the point where she's at now, she's had three years of teaching and has gotten really comfortable in the classroom and is, you know, it's kind of hitting her stride, which is great. So yeah, bringing her over here is perfect. With the addition of Miss Jenkins to the program, as well as adding a second TV classroom, the Seminole Ridge Television Academy is going extra. For Debbie Search Extra, I'm Issa Fontecchio. Every year, the Construction Academy builds a house for Habitat for Humanity. This year, they are moving their 10th house. WSRH Extra reporter Leilani Firetag takes us to West Palm Beach for a closer look. 
For the past 10 years, Seminole Ridge's Construction Academy has been building houses for Habitat for Humanity. This past week, the Academy was able to move house number 10 to its new home. Uh, today we're moving the house from onto the foundation here. We finally moved it out yesterday and now the house is here in Riviera on 17th Street and we're putting all the modules and roof pieces together. Habitat for Humanity is an international charity that builds houses for those in need. The Construction Academy is fortunate enough to be a part of this organization and help provide people their forever home. You know, for a lot of people, they wouldn't have a home without Habitat. Uh, we had one lady, you know, she never lived in a building that had air conditioning before in her life. She's 40 years old. Several community leaders were on hand as the house was delivered. They say they are impressed by the results of the students' hard work. Well, I think that the Construction Academy here specifically is a very, very unique program. It not only teaches uh, valuable trades to students, but also gives an opportunity to give back to the community and help those in need. It makes me feel so wonderful because when you go out and the dedication of the house to the families who have never had a home before, it makes tears come to your eyes a feel of love and compassion that we're all in this together and we have to take care of one another. The students as well as the recipients benefit from this house. Um, I'm able to learn how they do things for other houses the, that they build around my local community and just seeing how things come together and that I would, would have never known if I had been in any other academy. The shop is now empty, but it doesn't stop the Construction Academy from working on their next project, which is starting right now and will be completed by the end of the next school year. For WSRH Extra, I'm Leilani Firetag. The flag football team not only carries the ball, but each other as they make their way through the season. WSRH Extra reporter Gabrielle Bradford takes us to the field with the story. Down to it. The Seminole Ridge girls flag football team is known for their six state titles and having overall very successful seasons. But this is impossible without the help of their leader, Coach O'Hara. We won a state championship in 2016. We've been to regionals and state semis. When asked one word to describe Coach O'Hara, seniors said he's charismatic, very caring, very compassionate. With four seniors graduating this season, the drive and determination to make it far is higher than usual. I don't know how we're going to go on without them next year, but I don't want to think about that right now. Uh, you know, I just want to enjoy every minute we have left in the season with them. The team has so far had another successful season with a 13-3 record. The team played Wellington High School in the district finals, but unfortunately lost. They had the opportunity to play the Wolverines again in regionals and took home the victory, winning regional quarterfinals. Like not everyone was playing that game like it could have been their last game. Um, when we came to regionals, um, we definitely were a lot more prepared. As the team continues to progress in their season, they are working hard each and every day. We watch a bunch of film on what they would do, and we also practice a lot to practice plays on what we would do against that team in particular. We wish the Hawks good luck as they take on Palm Beach Gardens High School in the regional semifinals Wednesday, May 3rd at home. For Debra Search Extra, I'm Gabrielle Bradford. After playing together for nearly a decade, our softball seniors are going their separate ways. WSRH Extra reporter Haley Chan brings us to the dugout for more information. On Friday, April 14th, softball seniors Lindsay Ogden, Elena Rado, and Autumn Calcagno stepped on their home field one last time for their senior night. We've played 14U, 10U together. So it's just special to know girls that I've grew up with and I'm able to play with them and know how they are and how they are as an athlete. These girls have been playing together for years, but that doesn't mean that they didn't go through some hard struggles. Grow up, they had some tough times through, through the COVID years and just really watching them step out, becoming the leaders they are um, and pursuing their goals uh, on and off the field. But they all have persevered and will be continuing both their education and sports career at the college level. It was really great hearing that they all three signed. It wasn't always in the cards for all of them, and they did all their research and worked really hard to get where they are, so I'm excited that they get to continue playing along with pursuing their career goals. I'm playing for my education. I'm playing for the other girls that are also there for their education, 
and it just shows that my hard work paid off and I'll continue to work hard. All three girls have found a school they will call home, but that doesn't go without saying that they won't miss the hawk's nest they reside in today. This season is extra special because we're coming off two years of a repeating district championship and I've known a lot of these girls since middle school, some even before, and to be able to finish off my school career here um, is just different than I think most people's experience. It's really special to know that I've grown up with these girls and they're by my side on my senior night and we're able to enjoy all the memories we've had together and then eventually go off to play college in different states and I'm really gonna miss them. It's just the relationship that I have with every single one of the girls on the team. It's a very wonderful bond that I have and it's a bond that I will probably never forget and I will carry all of them with my heart. As a softball season for these girls wind down, this sport and the friendships they have built at Seminole Ridge will always be something they hold dear to their hearts. For WSRH Extra, I'm Haley Chan. Next year, a new keyboarding class is being introduced to the Ridge, bringing new opportunities to aspiring musicians. WSRH Extra reporter Adriana Brunner has the story. Next school year, a keyboarding class is going to be taught right here at Semmel Ridge, an idea that has been five years in the making. Keyboarding class is very basic, beginning level keyboard skills. Uh, basically finding where middle C is and then you just grow from there. No previous experience needed. This course was made possible by ESSER friends from the district and once it was official, excited students cannot wait to sign up. Really, I'm just excited to like improve what I already know and maybe get you know, some tips and help from Ms. Mo that maybe things that I didn't know. However, this is no ordinary keyboard lab, as the pianos do not play sound out loud. Well, what's really neat is that I can go ahead and listen to each individual keyboard through a hub that's set up at my keyboard. So everything is run through uh, headphones. Isabella, who has already signed up, is hoping to see other students join the class as well due to its various appeals. It gives kids a chance to like be involved in music if they want to without having like the commitment of being in band or chorus. They can still experience like being able to learn an instrument. This course will be taught by a familiar face at the Ridge who has prior experience teaching this class. I'll be teaching the class next year and I'm super excited because uh, I've, I've missed teaching piano class. This new keyboarding class for next year serves as an amazing opportunity for students to strengthen their musical skills. For WSRH Extra, I'm Adriana Brenner. Our boys volleyball team is feeling bittersweet after a successful season coming to an end. WSRH Extra reporter Cameron Sessions brings us to the court for more information. The boys volleyball team here at the Ridge is having a very successful season and senior players are learning a lot from the sport. It's probably made me like a better person. You know, Barnwall has taught me a lot about bunch of cool stuff. For me, these past two years, volleyball has really taught me dedication and determination for being able to come and practice every day and give it my all. But I guess it like made me work harder because yes, there was like a goal and like we just all wanted to win. With many cherishing memories being made, seniors on the team say they will have a lot to miss next year. The thing I think I'll miss the most is the friendship I was able to build during the season and the uh, trust I have in my teammates. Yeah cheering and chanting on the bench currently because I don't touch the court at all. <laughs> and my, like, my best guy friend, like, Kate Thon, me and him, like, we're, in the, we're the energy. We are the team, really, without the team. There's, like, there's, no, there's no team without me and Kate Thon, you know what I mean? Car rides to the games, and it's, like, it was just like the team bonding, and we just spend time together, just kind of talk and mess around. The underclassmen volleyball players say they're going to miss this particular group of seniors because of the strong bond they have created, which has led them to their success. The most I miss about the seniors is probably just their energy and practice, their energy given on the bench, um, all the all about having fun in practice as well, trash talking, um, and yeah, just pushing me to do my best every day. The seniors have helped lead the boys program to district finals, and we wish them the best as they head into the final game against Kings Academy on Thursday, May 4th. For WSH Extra, I'm Cameron Sessions. Well, that's it for this episode and season of WSRH Extra. I'm Leilani Firetag. And I'm Kaya Narcus. Remember that you can follow us and send submissions to us at Seminole Ridge TV. See you next year.